Hey, it's Bryce Taylor with the City Schools student media team, and this is the premiere episode of our brand new series, CTE Explained. In this series, we will dive deep into different CTE programs, talk to students, and get a real feel for what it's like. But get this, each episode will feature a demonstration by the students showcasing their CTE pathway skills. How does that sound? Cool? Well, today's episode is carpentry. Let's get cutting. So I'm here with Jerron. He's been a part of the carpentry program for two years now. So Jerron, what are we doing today? So basically we're turning logs into benches. All right. So, so what's first the first step, step? First step over here, we're going to chainsaw this side to even out the middle okay. of the log. So. All right, so tell me, why do you start with the end piece first? You want to get off the bed first. That piece of wood was bad, okay. so you had to shave it down to it, though. You get to the good wood, because that wood is no good no more. What happens if you put like a piece of bad wood into a piece of furniture? I mean, it could break very easy. All right, we don't want that to happen. So what's the next step to the bench? So after we chainsaw, we go over here, and we basically split these chisels, and we use the sledgehammer to bang it inside to split it in half. All right. Let's, uh, let's split it in half. There we go. Let's get to it. So what's the next step? Next step, we are going to pull the bark off because we were Sanding. So okay. if there's any extra left bark, we're gonna use the tools to get the bark off. And this is what it actually looked like once you're done using a 40 grit, 100 grit, 220 grit, make it real smooth. That's really smooth. Yeah. I like that. All right. Well, let's take that bark off. So we're taking the bark off here. Yeah. So what's the tool that we're using? A chisel and a spoke shade. And a spoke shade. And, okay. and a quick grit. And, and then the you need a hammer. Here or hatchet. You can use plenty of tools that to get the bark off. What's that? Uh, the spoke okay. shave. Okay, how do you use that? You gotta roll away. You put it and then it skims across the top to get that bark. So you get the good wood. The good wood is the light part that you start to see coming up. So you keep doing this and once you get off the bark off, you go and sand it. So what are they about to do over here? First, we very flat. We very use this. It's rough right now, but we can flatten it. What's this machine called? A router. Okay. And it just flattens the piece that we just split in half. Flatten this piece, and then we flip it, and then we take it over here. All right, Jerome. What's this piece here? So we're sanding the wood so it can be smooth as how we want it to be when we're trying to make the bench. What do you use to sand it? A sander in this hand right there. Rough, medium, smooth is what we're using. So when we get rough wood. You use the 40 grit for the rough. So yeah, that's pretty rough. From smoother, you want to smooth. 100 grit, real smooth. So do you use each of these when yeah. you're doing one piece? Yeah. So you start with the rough and then you go down? Yeah, so like this, when we did this, did this, we start off with the 40 grit. Okay. Because it's rough. Mm -hmm. Then as we making it down, we get medium, we use the 100 grit. Then when it get real smooth, we want to really bring it real smooth, we get 220 grit. To be honest, I think this is like amazing. That just to see that that was just one dull old log, and now they're turning it into a bench. This is some serious stuff that these carpentry programs students are doing. I think it's really interesting. Thank you, John. Thank you so much for showing me around the shop today. I feel like I know a lot of. I want to make my own bench at this point. I feel like I learned a lot. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So this is the finished product. Now the legs, they are eventually gonna get chiseled out. They're gonna be a little wood burning, a little designs on the legs, but this is essentially what we get. A nice handmade bench by our very own CTE students. And not to mention, this bench is gonna sell for hundreds of dollars. We're doing big things here at Carver and all Baltimore City schools around. And when you finish the program, you finish with not only a high school diploma, but a certificate in carpentry. This brings us to an end of our premiere episode of CTE Explained. I'd like to thank the Carver Carpentry Program for hosting us. This has been Bryce Taylor with the City School Student Media Team. See you at the next Pathway.